Hello, I'm Jutta Bauschenwein and we are in week one of our COPE 14 MOOC. I'm happy to have Heinz Wittenbring, one of the MOOC experts of Europe, with me. Um, hi Heinz, how are you? Hi Jutta, I'm fine, thank you <laughs> for hi. having invited me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you three short uh, questions and the first is, what do you like about MOOCs? Uh, I like about MOOCs that it is a form of, of education and also of uh, uh, publishing uh, that uh, fits well with the, with the rest of the new web and online infrastructure. And um, uh, especially uh, that it is open, that it is easy uh, to, to participate, uh, um, that, that uh, traditional barriers uh, for education uh, are removed. I think openness is the most important uh, is the most important feature for me. Okay, um, and what is difficult in MOOCs? Maybe it depends a little bit of the openness as well. Yeah, I would say uh, the, uh, the difficulty is that uh, uh, MOOC in the moment is a kind of umbrella term. For, for very different uh, things, for traditional e-learning, for, for uh, uh, ways to, to or let's say, hopes to get to make money in a, in a short term, and also for very original and new concepts or uh, conceptions of, of education. And uh, for, for most people, I think uh, it's impossible to uh, to, to find out what 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 is the right way and what is the what are the real characteristics of of MOOCs. Um, this whole um, concept of of openness and open education is still new, and all the web related features are new for many people, and it needs some time to have that established. Okay, um, you know we have already more than four hundred learners in our MOOC. And you as expert, what tips would you give them? How should they proceed in the MOOC? Yeah, they should, uh, uh, I think two things are important. First, uh, it is important to, to, to define uh, to personal, personal goals and, uh, and to follow your own, let's say, personal learning path. And the second thing, is it is important to, to network and to build up, let's say, smaller, smaller groups and to, to learn together with these people and uh, to communicate continuously. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a, a MOOC is a different thing for, for, every, for, for each participant and uh, you have to be aware of this, um, uh, of, of this feature of a MOOC. Okay, thank a lot for this short uh, interview and I believe we will meet in the MOOC. Okay, fine. Bye-bye.